Welcome to the Villain's Lounge. That's right, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome y'all to the Villain's Lounge. And I am your host, the Three Counts Resident Super Villain. That is right, I am also the Dark Goat, the Dark Lord himself, Damien Fatal. And uh, today on the news, we got uh, a little something, something. So, uh, from what I understand and hear, uh, Josh Alexander from TNA, he asked TNA not to exercise his extension in his contract, right? And uh, he wanted to see his options in the wrestling world, and uh, he was still willing to do business with TNA and re-sign if the offer was correct and right. And uh, you know what Anthem did? Anthem went on ahead even denying basically his request to not extend his contract and they exercised the option anyway to extend his contract so in short they were like yeah you know what yep. fuck what you heard fuck what you feel you stand until your contract's up so i guess that is what it is good job anthem keep up the good work and uh i mean <laughs> yeah i'm a I might end up being dumbasses of the week. So we'll see what happens. Uh, and then also in other news, O'Shea Jackson, the son of uh, iconic rapper Ice Cube. Uh, he was on uh, Chris Van Bleet, uh, you know, interview show. And, uh, you know, he stated that, you know, he's a big wrestling fan, loves wrestling, has watched it. But, uh, you know, he can't just get, into AEW, a.k.a. Planned Parenthood, because of their fans. Their fans are, uh, I've always said this, super-duper toxic. And uh, basically, you know, when he's watching, and he's like, yeah, like, who's that? And then you get those fans are like, oh, well, you don't know who that is. Like, what the hell? You know, you're not a real wrestling fan. And, uh, you know, that's Planned Parenthood for you. So uh, I guess that is what it is. Sorry, O'Shea. The stick to Monday Night Raw, TNA, SmackDown, anything WWE, anything else but AEW. So now we're going to go right into the uh, February 19th episode of Monday Night Raw. And uh, Raw starts off with a match. It starts off big with uh, Drew McIntyre versus Cody Rhodes. Awesome match. I did. I took a lot of notes on this. I mean, lots of notes on this. Um. It was a great match. I mean, the crowd was into it. There was a lots of back and forth, hard hitting, um, you know, lots of false finishes. And uh, we get a recap or uh, a redo or a rehash of what happened to Cody at WrestleMania 39 when Solo came out of nowhere, hit him with the Samoa spike and giving Roman that uh, upper hand to get that W. And uh, Solo came out, hit him with the Samoan spike, and uh, gave Drew the upper hand, and Drew, and Drew used it. So, uh, yeah, congratulations, Drew. Good job. And so Drew gets that W and gets the victory, and uh, he hits that Claymore, and uh, one, two, three, it's over. And um, I'm giving that one four axe handles. Um, we get a nice video package for the IC Championship match. Um, you get another... Nice video package for Andrade El Elio. Uh, that's what he's going by now. Um, and then you get a backstage segment with Cody, with the trainers. You know, the GM of Raw is all mad, saying he's going to find the bloodline, and this and the third. And Cody's like, nah. But then they walk out, and Seth walks in, and he just gives them that look like, man, like I told you last week, bro. What's that plan? So then uh, we go into the Battle Royal for the last spot for the in elimination chamber women's match. And uh, I, I speculated that Jade was going to be in this match, but she wasn't. We ended up getting Shayna Baszler, Zoe Stark, the returning Raquel Rodriguez, Selena Vega. Uh, we got Lopez, Chelsea Green, Natty, Isla Dawn, Alba Fire, Ivy Nile, Candice LeRae, Indy Hartwell, Tegan Knox, B-Fab, Maxine Dupree, Vahala. Meechin, Katana Chance, 
And uh, yeah, the winner of that battle royal and those ladies went hard in that battle royal. And the winner of that battle royal was the returning Raquel Rodriguez. And she gets that last spot in the elimination chamber. So good job, homegirl. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. Um, literally back. <laughs> um, and so I give that match. I'm, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it two and a half axe handles. It was pretty solid. Uh, main, agenda, uh, main event. Jay Uso uh, talked that smack to build up his match for Gunther and said that he was going to end his 212 or 15 day reign as Intercontinental Champion. Uh, Nia Jax and Rhea Ripley did a sit down promo, and um, you know Cole asked them both what did they think about you know this match at the Elimination Chamber in Perth, Australia. Rhea explains, you know why she wants this, why she's doing this, why it's important to her. Then Jack says that, you know, she can't wait to beat her in front of her friends and family in her home country and take that championship from her. And then uh, Rhea just goes off. Like, she just goes off and puts her in her place and says that she doesn't know what she's getting herself into. And at uh, Perth, at the Elimination Chamber, she going she gonna to hand her that, that L. So, uh, and then dropped the mic and walked off, and Nia was just... Sitting there stewing. So, uh, and that, that was that was pretty fun. Then we also get um, an expose interview with uh, our truth about the Judgment Day, and it's called the Truth about the Judgment Day Truth Line. Um, I'm giving this five axe handles because it was our truth, and I just love our truth. And uh, you know, he comes out later in that park. <laughs> so then we get into the Judgment Day. Versus DIY, The Miz, and R Truth. This match was great. It was fun. It was crazy all over the place. Both teams did great. DIY looked amazing. The Miz, all, always amazing. R Truth, always amazing. And every member of Judgment Day with JD McDonough, uh, you know, Dirty Dom, Mysterio, uh, Finn Balor, and Damian Priest. Yeah, now they killed it. So um, I'm giving this match. Um, Three axe handles and Judgment Day gets the W when Priest gets the three with the South of Heaven on our truth. Uh, Sammy does a backstage promo talking about his road to WrestleMania 40 and what his path will be to get to WrestleMania. Um, Becky Lynn, and he's also hyped, he also hyped up uh, and, and called out Shinsuke. So we'll, we'll see what that goes. Um, Sammy Zayn. I mean, not Sami Zayn, Becky Lynch. She comes out to the ring and um, does her promo to hype up the Elimination Chamber match for the women in uh, Perth, Australia. And uh, she's talking and she gets interrupted by Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan's talking her piece and then she gets interrupted by Raquel Rodriguez. Raquel's talking that big girl junk and then out comes... Miss Glow herself, Naomi. Naomi's talking that big girl trash. And then out comes my girl, Tiffany Stratton, and saying that it's Tiffany time and talking that smack. And then out comes, you know, the EST, Bianca Belair. And uh, she basically comes out there and puts all the ladies in their place. And she's the one that's won the Elimination Chamber. She's the one that's been winning WrestleManias back to back. And, uh, you know, they can't touch her. So, basically, big fight breaks out. You know it's going to break out between all six of those women. A big fight breaks out. And then out comes Nia Jax and lays all six women out and leave them laying. Uh, it was uh, it was nice. It was nice. It was a, it was a, it was a, it was an interesting little left turn. So, you know what? Yeah, continue. Uh, Gunther cuts a promo in the back to hype up his match with uh, Jey Uso and uh, basically tells him, "Sit down, son. You can't beat me." Nakamura does a backstage promo as well on Sami Zayn, saying that I'm coming for you. Uh, and then we get Chad Gable versus Ivar and knees. And then, you know, this match was this match was fire. Uh, both men killed it. Uh, lots of back and forth. You know, Gable doing his, you know, his, his technical wrestling. Ivar doing high spots being so big and shouldn't be doing. Um, but uh, the match ends with Gable getting the W with an ankle lock, making Ivar tap. And I'm going to give that three and a half axe handles. 
Then we get uh, Drew McIntyre backstage gloating about his victory over Cody and hyping up the Elimination Chamber match saying he's going to win. New Day does a backstage promo and uh, basically threatens Imperium and says, we want y'all next week in a street fight. Then we go into the main event. We have main event Jey Uso challenging the longest reigning intercontinental champion in WWE history, Gunther, the leader of Imperium. And uh, man, this match, this match started off with a bang with Gunther getting that upper hand and starting that heat and just working, working. Um, Jay and just chopping and chopping and just working and working and working. Um, and then, uh, you know, Jimmy does change some momentum, he takes back control, but then gets taken down and power bomb gets a two. Gunther gets a two, uh, he keeps the heat on. Then, uh, after the ad break, um, we get some more back and forth. The crowd is hot all night and for this match, but uh. Guther ends up after that chopping the soul out of Jay like several times, just back to back chops and just talking that trash. And then uh, Jay comes back, he hits a spear, gets a two. Um, Jay hits a spear, the champ rolls out, um, you know, hits another spear on the apron, hits another spear on the outside. Guther gets back in, he hits a you know, a spear on the inside, hits the Uso splash, goes for the cover, and Jimmy rings the bell. That's right. His brother rings the bell, and it just messes up everything. Gunther starts coming back, chopped to the back, you know, tries to get the upper hand. Jay fights back, gets Gunther down, goes for the Uso splash again. And Gunther gets the knees up, and he pins Jay to retain the IC championship, and his reign keeps on going. So Jay falls short because of his brother, and then his brother just beats the tar out of him after that and basically saying he can't win a championship without him, and he is always going to be the bigger brother. So it ends with Jimmy standing over Jay and... Michael saying, somebody get this man out of here. So that has been the Villains Lounge. Thank you. And the review of Raw and the news. And uh, we will be back tomorrow. Peace. Welcome to the Villains Lounge. Lounge.